I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights, so I booked a trip up to Iceland with that singular goal in mind. Since the entire trip would be a gamble against the weather, I didn't plan for anything else, thinking I might be out multiple nights chasing the aurora. Unfortunately, Mother Nature had other ideas, and all my tours got cancelled. Now, having nothing but time on my hands, I decided I might as well hit all the classic tourist spots and do the Golden Circle and Blue Lagoon while I was here. So, as an odd side note, I'm the harbinger of disaster to many places. I was one of the last groups of people to see Darwin's Arch in the Galapagos before it collapsed. Ecuador erupted into mass protests after I left. I was planning my trip to Japan just before Fukushima, and I don't know how many islands have suffered hurricanes shortly after my departure. With that historical precedent in mind, I figured I'd best visit the Blue Lagoon before the volcanic eruption swallowed it. The next day I was told by my tour company that we would do the Golden Circle, but the Blue Lagoon was evacuated the night before. The eruptions had started again. I was kind of disappointed, but then I decided to shift gears. If I couldn't see the aurora on this trip, I would check off another item on my pocket list. Seeing lava. So early the next morning, I spoke with the hotel staff to see if there were any private drivers willing to go out there. But since the eruption was so new, much of the area was still closed. And then it hit me. Reykjavik has a lot of helicopter tours, out to the glaciers and such. Time to fire off some emails. Any helicopter tours going to the eruption? Minimum of four passengers. I'm willing to pay for all four seats if necessary. I waited anxiously for any responses, and then one got back to me for a 2 p.m. flight, but then had to cancel due to weather. But then unexpectedly, they called me back. Are you available at 6.30? Why, yes. Yes, I was. Our first sighting of smoke rising in the distance. You could actually smell it from here. Here you can see the new lava fields. One thing to realize is the cooling lava here is dozens of feet deep. This is the Blue Lagoon and a geothermal power plant nearby. You can see the semicircular lava barrier that Iceland has put up to protect it. They're very concerned about losing the plant, as well as the hot water that is piped from here to Reykjavik to heat the city. This is the town of Grindavik. It's been evacuated for a while now, and they're expecting the lava to reach the sea soon. Okay, let me just shut up and let you see what we all came here for.
and now we're headed back to Reykjavik. Some things to note, the whole flight was maybe 35 minutes long, and I don't have a ton of footage because I was making the conscious effort to see it with my own eyes instead of looking at it through the camera screen. And let me say, the color and the glow of the lava does not translate to on screen. It's so vibrant and visceral when you see it in real life, that, that glow. I found it interesting that the helicopter still approaches just like a plane at the runway. But just kidding. Yeah, you couldn't wipe the stupid grin off my face for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs>